hello everyone and welcome back to the channel it's me black tonio back with another video again out at the park on the full moon in the middle of the night right um soaking in some of those lunar waves you know it's the same thing you know the moon is the the light of the night just like the sun father just like sun the sun is the light of the day the moon is the light of the night we absorb sun rays for that good vitamin d you know to give us that good energy and um you know we also have the moonlight as well that affects us in different ways as well so yep um you know um lighting some new candles so yeah and that's what i wanted to get into today outside of um you know my personal ways of div divination um candle magic and things like that um using the uh hypnotic uh power of a dance and flame uh, to help center your thoughts you know there's different ways that people can learn to meditate uh focus and center themselves that's just one of the ways i like to do it looking into a fire uh, i also enjoy aromatherapy so you know candles are good um just make sure you know what you're doing before you um, you play around with so-called magics and ethers and things like that. Um, but what I wanted to talk about today is other forms of uh, divination. Um, you know, I like to focus on positivity and things like that. There's different ways that people can actually um, help improve their lives. You know, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily take money or um you know celebrity and fames like that the love of people outside of yourself because you know it's all about self-love and then uh with that currency um or just with that self-improvement you can um you know you, you can become a better person it definitely help you feel better about certain situations when you're able to take you know uh separate ego from the actual uh situations that we have um and yeah it's not it's not that it's not that hard so we have a few few different ways of divination I'm going to be talking about tonight. We have, and this is just to help you realize the power of your thoughts. You know, some people need um, wands and, you know, all these types of magical tools and stones and things like that. These are like training wheels for people uh, or, you know, just aesthetics. You know, women love aesthetics and things like that. These are all different uh, tools and things that we use to help us uh, master ourselves. Um, so, of course, two of my favorites. The first one we're going to get into is Mirror Magic. Um, now, Mirror Magic is a really interesting one. Um, you know, there's a reason why uh, there's a mirror in your bathroom. When you get up uh, in the morning and you go into the bathroom to brush your, you wash your face and brush your teeth, you want to use that opportunity to, um, yeah, just take a look at yourself in the mirror. Um, make sure that, you know, you look healthy <laughs> say your words of affirmation say positive things to each other um to each other basically um i mean people are familiar with you know when you got in trouble from your parents or you got in trouble with your teacher they scold they scolded you they had a certain look that uh either made you feel embarrassed or or made you feel whatever type of emotion that you felt and you can practice this same um sort of you know, you can practice this same sort of um, experiment in a mirror with yourself. Um, and yeah, you just you just stand in front of a mirror and you look at yourself and you say positive things to yourself and you look at your reactions that you have to your own self speaking to yourself. And it feels kind of weird. It seems kind of strange, kind of funny uh, when it first start. But people don't people don't feel weird or feel funny when, you know, <laughs> they're recording themselves on their phones like this or when they get upset and they start um you know just saying negative things about themselves or whatever the situation may be or you, you got into it with someone on social media so you're just going to sit there with your phone in your hand and just talk crap and just say negative things over and over and over and over not even necessarily typing you're just sitting there getting yourself upset um thinking about thinking about it over and over and that's one of the things that my mom um the power of thoughts you know don't you can't sit in a room all day and 
continuously making yourself mad over the thoughts that you that you keep having you control your own thoughts don't sit there on the same thoughts and keep getting upset about something that you honestly you are able to control um so that's a that's a that's one form of divination you know there's a reason why handmaidens carried around you know 200 years ago it was it was it was fancy to carry around hand mirrors with pearls in them and all that different types of stuff you know mirror mirror on the wall when we um look at these disney bedtime stories mirror magic actually helps um and mirror magic can actually hurt as well so just know um what you're messing with um when you get into these forms of divination the best way to explore these things is just to keep a clear channel um stay positive you know and whether it's mentally physically or spiritually you know physically make sure you're cleansing your body make sure you're fasting make sure you're killing the flesh that's a big bug um you know whether it's um whether it's uh, mentally you know you want to make sure you keep a, a clear channel a, a, an open mind or whatever the case may be um so that you can try and cultivate new ideas uh and make sure that you're crossing your T's and dotting your I's when you're performing these different miracles. And, you know, all forms of practical magic. Again, we're not pulling rabbits out of a hat. <laughs> That's not what... This is not a bedtime story. This is not Disney. Um, and then you have another form, another one of my favorite forms of divination. We have um, Rose Alchemy. Rose Alchemy is an interesting one. Um... And really, you can do this with any type of flower. It just seems that roses are more powerful. Um, you know, people put a lot of emphasis on roses. You know, when you when you de declare in love for someone, you give them roses. You know, on Valentine's Day or all these special holidays where people, um, you know, they get together. You, know, you can you can buy roses at any time of the year. You know, they're beautiful. They smell good. So when it comes to um, roses or plants, the thing about plants is. This is nature. This is it's already a living life force that's willing to, um, I don't want to necessarily say sacrifice itself for you because that's what, I mean, indeed, that's what uh, Gaia and Mother Nature does for us all the time. It's always sacrificing itself for us. Um, so, you know, people pluck roses and things like that. <laughs> people, people pluck fruits from forbidden trees they shouldn't be plucking fruit from. But again, these are all tools. All of God's creations are unique. All of God's creations are uh, important, no matter how tainted people um, try to make you believe that they are. Um, but when it comes to rose alchemy, you definitely you just take a few roses, basically take a few roses. Um, some people are able to psychologically psych themselves out. Um, and, um, you know, again, it's, it's not about the tools that you have. Um, they can they can go buy, you know, instead of buying um, a dozen roses, that's going to cost you. Uh, 20 bucks or something like that people are able to go to like a, a cheap corner store or a dollar store and buy like a dollar plastic rose or things like that it's the it's the visual cues that um that and you know hidden images and things that help you that that trigger certain things in your mind your intuition your knowing um but with rose alchemy uh you definitely take the time out to smell the roses man smell the smell the flowers plants help raise your vibrational frequency that's why it's a good thing to go out in nature and you know breathe in that good ass prana um there was a reason why witches and wiccans and things like that why they ran naked through the forest barefoot they're out tuning with nature. They're out communing with Gaia. They're absorbing those energies. Again, when we breathe in oxygen, we breathe out carbon dioxide. And uh, the planet, you know, it recycles that. So when it comes to rose alchemy or any type of plant that can help, you know, the more plants you have around you, I, some people even put plants in their house. Some people put plant, pots of plant next to their bed. Some people have gardens. You know, these things help uh, release mental anguish and mental energy and things that people have stored up in them. You have a bunch of nervous energy, put pen to pad or, or kneel down in a garden and start planting some seeds so you can get that nervous energy out of your body. Um, but yeah, that's, that is another form of 
of divination rose alchemy enjoy the smell of the roses you know rub the rose petals over your body you know sprinkle rose spring sprinkle a trail I, I usually follow the yellow brick road sprinkle a, tra a trail of rose petals uh, throughout your house you know so that as you you know as you walk to your bed you you get in the mood of of the love frequency it's a great uh, manifestation tool uh, keeping plants around uh, your area to help uh, maintain or raise your vibrational frequency so that you continue to have a clear channel and um, you know not have these negative lax feelings cloud your judgment or your heart space um, so we talked about mirror magic and we talked about rose alchemy to close this one out you know some people are so powerful that they don't need they don't even need words <laughs> they're sign language as well you know some people can't some people are deaf some people can't some people are mute some people can't talk and things like that um but not to get too far into like you know those different things you know medical conditions and things like that you know we're all human we all have our own different life our own different path that we have to walk to try to conquer the demons that's here on this planet trying to distract us <laughs> but um it's next is just going to be the power of thought you know the power of your words the power of your actions i already um tried to explain to you before in the past how god should be perceived um well i'm not going to say should but at least from my point of view you know outside of people saying jesus is going to come back god is going to come back and i'm 34 years old and the guy hasn't come back yet that's how i know he's black <laughs> but um you know instead of these fairy tales they keep telling us we need to focus on practical application um so the power of thoughts the power of words the power of your actions you know again adam and adams are the same thing and um man does its divination um but as far as just your thoughts and your words and your actions these are great powerful tools to help you uh, manifest it's almost as like um your physical appearance sometimes your physical appearance can help you manifest certain things all a woman has to do is put on a red dress <laughs> i mean if she looks nice all she has to do is put on a red dress she don't even have to say nothing and her dreams can become reality you know same thing with certain men that hold certain status and things like that there's certain men that you can't even talk to directly you have to talk to their assistants before that you can talk to them because you know again it's all it's 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 all about your thoughts, your actions, and your deeds. So a powerful way, just like a powerful way to figure out who God is, is to go into the Grand Canyon and yell something at the Grand Canyon and hear what yells back at you. That's the power of God. And what I'm speaking about tonight in regards to not needing divination tools, not needing mirror magic and roses and things like that stones and all these other things that's actually they're, they're good tools um but you you came into this world with everything you needed you need there's a reason why there's so much distraction and there's so much death towards the heart space in this current uh you know in these in these current universal energies that we have to swim through um but if you want to test how powerful the human spirit is, even the, even the power of the mind, because everything starts with your mind. Everything starts with the metaphysical. Your mind, your heart, and your spirit connects you um, to, you know, the earth plane, to the spiritual world, to the stars and things like that. Um, you want to, let's say, let's take, let's take this exercise. When it comes to, even when it comes to meditation, and I'm gonna teach you guys how to meditate, it's not that easy. I had a problem with it myself. It's just a matter of focus. Um, and me, I need training wheels. So even even on those, those types of things, I can't just sit there and just think, um, oh my God, I'm meditating. Sometimes, you know, again, I, I focus with um, candles, staring into uh, fire and things like that. You know, which the witches did again sat around telling campfire stories like 
he did they did nothing wrong <laughs> but um one way to test this power or the theory of your mind of your god power of your god consciousness and this is going to sound weird but it's not it's, it's just an exercise try and imagine yourself close your eyes and try to imagine yourself dead you cannot do it the mind is too powerful the mind does not shut off even when you sleep even when you're overly tired and you finally fall asleep and you black out just from, you know, exhaustion. Your mind does not cut off. You dream if you're able to fall into that REM sleep. Yeah. So the power of God and the power of your mind and your spirit is so powerful that nothing can shut it off. I mean, there's death course i mean if you know what death is energy is no is is no is ne neither lost it's only transferred from one place to another um but yeah practice this exercise and um and yeah, you don't have to keep practicing it a whole bunch of times it's just it'll be a moment of clarity to help you realize how powerful you are uh in this world and that every action or decision that you make can help you better yourself um take power into your own hands so on that last one you you basically want to try to perceive death you want to picture yourself literally close your eyes picture yourself laying down in a coffin dead no thoughts no actions or anything you cannot do that you're actually what what's going to happen is your mind is start is going to start to alter your headspace you're gonna, it's like it's going to be like looking at yourself in third person in a coffin you might want to think of yourself as dead, but your perception or your awareness or your consciousness or your brain is creating a whole nother scenario in your head, almost like a movie of you looking down at your body. Yep, like, yep, this fool done left the body. It's almost like astral projection. Um, but there's a reason why I did not want to talk about astral projection, projection. And instead, I wanted to talk about God consciousness or how powerful your mind and your thoughts are, your awareness, your mindfulness. Um... But I think that's all I wanted to talk about today. Um, I didn't really get to shoot too many uh, videos today. There's a, there's um, you know, some changes coming. Of course, in the full moon and things like that. So it's, 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 it's affecting me in strange ways, good ways, you know, um, positive ways. Um, I have new projects and things that I'm, I'm going to be working on soon. So, well, I'm already working on them and I, and I don't know why I keep doing that to you guys. I'm working on something. I'm working on something. <laughs> always working, right? It's true. I mean, some of us are always working. You know, it's, it's, it's you know, some of us, you know, we, we do battle in this thing, man. Warriors, you know. <laughs> but um, hopefully you guys are being safe. Hopefully you guys are learning something new every day keeping an open mind um you know hold hold space for yourself you don't necessarily have to hold space for people all the time because of course you um it starts with you everything starts with you once you're able to take accountability and visualize and start taking the steps that you need to take towards your future uh, pathways to start to open up for you doorways to start to open up for you again you're not going to be helped until you start moving once you start moving you'll begin to see all of these different paths you see i'm walking through the park and it's just it's, and this is just a metaphor you see how many paths that i can take here um but yeah it's a lot of uh people out here randomly i've never seen so many uh people out at the park in the middle of the night i don't know if they're gonna shoot a snuff video or a porn video but this is weird <laughs> let me get out of this park it's it's weird again the full moon energy just comes out of nowhere last night it was a uh last night or was it yesterday it was a uh so, like a grown-ass man baby walking through the park <laughs> by himself i don't know someone someone's i don't know someone's uncle needs to be put back in the house those these are the people that need those straight jackets you feel me um, and then now tonight we have half naked people out <laughs> at the park <laughs> I don't know if they're trying to shoot a porn video out here or something, but I need to go look at this They just pulling up um, 
But yeah, that's all I wanted to uh, get off my chest for you guys today. Just some practical ways of magic, just some practical ways of self-improvement, loving yourself, loving others you know some people are into weird things you know <laughs> some people just like to play video games all day some people like to some people are artists they just love to paint and listen to music all day then you have weird people that like to mix you know different things you know i, I guess that's what it is when you cook right you, you're mixing herbs <laughs> and people don't even realize that people don't even realize when you're cooking it's a form of divination it's actually relaxing women when you cook, it actually helps relax your mind. I've experienced it. <laughs> and I've dated plenty older women and they've ex they experience it. They say it definitely helps with relaxation. It's a mental release. What she, what she say? Ah, oh, it was it was and she was rhyming too. I was like, look at this rhyming ass 47 year old witch. Cause people think, you know, witches. I don't know what people think witches are. And I need to stop saying witches because it's not even, it's, it's another label. I don't know why people think that these are weirdo people that's practicing Satanism and sacrificing babies and things like that. Yeah, you have weirdos out there. We know what we call those. We call those criminals. We call those murderers. We call those pedophiles. Those are the labels you need to be throwing on those people. Not someone that's minding their own business with their torch or their campfire and that's just telling stories to the people disseminating the knowledge giving people the tools that they need to better themselves and stop being distracted by this matrix um you know but i'm gonna listen to some music for a little while um i need to shoot some b-roll um of the moon and of uh empty atmosphere I'm working on a project now. Um, I got some good ideas from some readers uh, from the community. Um, in regards to different things, you know, showing showing different things that happen to, you know, I mean, of course, I've been going through my spiritual expansion for the past year, and it's like, it's being documented live, like for real. <laughs> um, most people would not be able to do it. Um, so that's why I'm here to try and help bring these things into fruition, bring these things to the forefront and change the trajectory of the culture um, so that we can see that there's different ways and there's different poss possibilities um, all around us that we can take part in. You know, we don't want stagnant energy. Find something to do. Find something to pour your life force in, whether it's children, um, whether it's your art, you know, whether it's politics or whether it's just a freaking flower garden. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be my third closeout for this video. <laughs> you know what it is. You know, it's, I'm, 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 I'm flexing, I'm stre stretching this muscle. And I'm realizing that a lot of these uh, videos are one shots and monologues and things like that. Man, it's so so weird how spirit connection will reveal these things um to you to show you that you actually have the strength um to do these things you know whether it's shoot a five minute clip or whether it's you know going all out testing your skills and your abilities to generate a movie a 60 to 120 minute video or however long it's gonna be you know um People do it all the time on, on online or on social media. People go on live or people go on YouTube and stream and they're just sitting there for two hours. Um, it doesn't take much for um, someone to do something like that. Shoot a bunch of B-roll footage, uh, create uh, different narratives and scripts and, and storytellings to produce a 40 minute um, TV show or pilot or a movie of the things that empaths go through, the things that intuitives go through, the things that, you know, people that are spiritually guided have to go through. Um, you know, an interesting formula I'm partaking in, but um, we'll get there. You know, we'll get there. Hopefully you guys be safe. I'll catch you on the next video. Love you.